Welcome to an introduction to Microsoft Bookings. What is Bookings? Bookings gives you a faster alternative to time-consuming or repetitive scheduling tasks. The idea is that you're not spending all of your time scheduling appointments with customers and shuffling that with staff based on their knowledge and their abilities and their busy schedules. Bookings is going to help you to do that in a much simpler way. It'll also allow you to customize appointment details. So you'll be able to provide service, align that service with a specific staff member based on their availability in their calendar. Bookings is going to create an easy to navigate web page for you that lets your customers define and book appointments themselves. So you won't have to have them call you for an appointment and then you call them back and things of that nature. They're going to be able to use an application that is part of your website or your social media page and see what services are available, who's available to provide those services, and dates and times that they can do that. And because it's integrated with Exchange Online, there's no need to have multiple schedules based on when are they going to be in town, when is somebody available versus what you have within your scheduling application. It's all integrated together. so. It's all going to be based on Exchange Online and your resources availability. Let's take a look at some of the features of Bookings. Microsoft Bookings is an Office 365 application. We'll simply start Bookings. Here's your Bookings landing page. It operates similar to a dashboard where you're going to see the service that is defaulted here on the left, and then you're going to see your different activity that's going to happen over time. You also have a number of different features you can check out and see some different tips on how to use bookings. In this instance, we have a bookings site called USA Credit Union. I may have more than one, so I can open another where it shows me some of those, or I can create a brand new calendar. Within the USA Credit Union, we have a number of different services. We have one that's an initial consultation, and we have a number and caller account review. In the initial consultation, or what we call initial consult, you click on that, and this is where you can assign different staff members, or you can remove a staff member if they're not going to supply this particular service. You can give that service a name, give it a description, indicate what the default location is, and you can also add it as an online meeting. You can have these meetings set up as an online meeting as long as your staff members have an online meeting, in other words, using Teams. So by putting this switch on, the customer is going to get a booking message that says you can meet using Teams. You can set up a default duration and lots of additional fields that are available. So you can really fine tune, as we mentioned, your services that are available to your customer. You can manage staff by going in and adding somebody. So you can give them their own unique color, you can add the different person, you can give them their email and their number, as well as you can set up what their individual schedule is. So if you're a business and you have some part-time employees, you can set up their individual schedule or you can do it based on business hours, which is determined over here under the business information. You can identify customers. As you are building out your folks, you can go ahead and create a list of customers if you so desire. Let's take a look at the booking page. The booking page is what the customer is going to see when they want to schedule an appointment with you or one of your resources. Here you can see there's a booking page status, which says whether this has been published or not. You also have the ability of publishing this on Facebook, Twitter, or sending it via an email. If you have a website, you can go ahead and share your page. You can also embed the code right within your website. If you have a website that's customer facing, you can set up a page using that embedded code. So right from your website, they can go ahead and make an appointment. The other thing you can also do is copy this and actually email that to your distribution list. You can also indicate a connect to Facebook button. So when you click connect, it'll actually connect to your foot Facebook page. Again, lots of fine tuning here. You can change the colors, the background. You can change the uh, logo. You can indicate how your what your time increments are for your appointments. So if you want to only support 30 minute appointments, you can set that. You can also indicate a lead time that they need before the time and date. So for instance, if 
you want to tell them that they need 24 hour lead time and they try to set up a bookings for the same day, they wouldn't be able to do that. And then maximum lead time is how far out they can go. There's also things like you can send out email notification, you know, customers to choose who they want to meet with. If you select that, then when they go to book, they can indicate who specifically they want to speak to. It's still going to be the people that you assign to that service, but it allows them that freedom. If you'd like to take a look at what this is going to look like to the customer, you can click open that page, and this is what it's going to look like. So from here, the customer sees what service they have available, select one or the other. So you have can have multiple, so like we said, we have an initial consult or a account review. They can look for a certain date. And if they choose the staff is going to be anyone, they can set up a time. If they want a specific person, they can select that person, and then they would see the available times that they have. And once they indicate their name and other content, you can they can book. They can even add a note if they wish. Then you can click book, then they can click book. So this is what the customer is going to see. As we mentioned, if you embed this in your website or on Facebook or you email them your bookings page, this is the customer facing what they're going to see. And that's all set up from here. Because Booking Calendar is integrated with your Exchange Online Calendar, you will be able to see who is available at what time. If we want to go look ahead, and I want to go ahead and look in June, say on the 17th, I can see that certain people in my organization are busy during certain times. So here we see Samantha has an initial consult with Richard. Let's take a look at Richard's confirmation email.